time for an update. So I've been away for a little while here because I've been just working like a dog. But the next thing on my list to do is um, putting some sound insulation and sound deadening materials within my car. Um, I ordered it on Amazon yesterday. Um, you know, if you're curious which one, I just typed in like sound deadening audio and then I just look at the top review. Um, it's fairly expensive, but it, I, um, I added some of this to my 2.5 when I had it and um, yeah, I saw a noticeable effect. Um, that car, I had trouble, like I, I was going to put some into the, the door and um, just some other areas, but because that car was the GT with all the tech, it had a lot of extra wiring and I couldn't, I couldn't get to certain areas. So I'm going to try again. Uh, this car is a little more basic, doesn't have a, all that extra wiring, so um, I'll try to get some into the door. I'm going to try to, uh, it's risky, but pop this roof liner off, get some in there. But the main area where the road noise comes from is like the wheels, so I'm going to see what I can do within that area. Even if I just put some like on the inside part of the, the plastic guard in the wheel well, that would help a little bit. And there aren't really many holes in there for like water to get on it but I've used this stuff before and it's very sticky I don't see it really coming off so um, I should have 100% success with that um, other than that um, just to update on um, my exhaust the stuff that I use to seal the gasket area is holding up very well and um, it actually kind of made the exhaust sound a little bit better because sometimes when you have a small leak you can hear like a ra like a raspy sound at startup and when you're accelerating and that's kind of gone away so um, yeah that was I wish I had done it just from the beginning it wasn't as messy as I thought it would be I thought it would be like more of like a paste like a liquid but it was really just um, like a play-doh material that you could form to it and then I don't see it really being an issue if I have to disconnect it. So um, if anybody out there, if you guys are looking for a way to seal certain areas on your exhaust, it worked really well. And it, it like hardens up uh, pretty quick within a few hours. So um, yeah, and the Plasti Dip that I dip my exhaust with, that's holding up very well. I haven't seen any like flaking off or chipping. Um, within the pipe, like inside of the pipe where I uh, painted a little bit, um, I can't tell if it's just like black from the exhaust, but when I wipe my finger in there, I see a little, um, you know, it's dirty on my finger, so it's probably just dirt and stuff. So even inside the pipe, it's holding up fairly well. So I can recommend that now as well. Um, obviously, I'll keep you updated. Um, and uh, yeah, I should have some of this sound deadening insulation going on within the next week my work schedule is changes all the time so um, yeah I'm not sure if you can hear the exhaust but sounds really good um, I let my girlfriend drive it every so often and I drive her car just so I can ride next to it and listen to it and for a four-cylinder you know I, you don't expect too much you don't expect it to sound like a V8 or anything but for a four-cylinder, it has a good sound. Um, I mean, when I had my MX-5, that sounded really good. And um, I mean, I think Mazdas just sound better than other brands. is why you buy the hatch.
this is probably not the safest way to drive, but I am right around the corner.